Hey everybody, welcome back to normal videos. If you missed my last video, um, a lot of you didn't based on the views. I'm just coming back from being in the hospital with Shane for a week and uh, we're back and he's back at school and we're trying to get back to normal here. Life does go on and the best way to do that is to get back into the swing of things. And one of the things that happened while I was um, away with Shane is the Sephora friends and family sale and it's good to have some distractions. So while I was hanging out with Shane, I placed an order. I didn't place as big an order as I probably would have if I could have focused and really thought about what I wanted. So it was kind of like a, like a mad dash through the aisles, the virtual aisles, so to speak. So I didn't, I got, I don't know, four, five, six things, something like that. And I thought instead of uh, just holding up some stuff and doing a little swatching, I would put it on. Now I'm filming this very early in the morning. Shane just left for school, so the sun is coming in and out. I'm gonna do my best to not uh, wash myself out, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. We're all friends here. So thank you in advance for your patience with the funky lighting. So one of the first things I ordered is this. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. Many of you recommended this in my foundation declutter video and uh, I got a sample and I really liked it so I decided to go for the full size. This is, oh, there goes the, wow. No light at all. Okay, hang on. This is in the shade Shell. I don't know why. Do foundations still need to be shaken? Who knows, it makes me feel better to shake. So, oh, wow, it's a teeny tiny little, really small pump for the size of the bottle. That's different. It's not runny, do you see that? It's uh, a little thicker in consistency. I gotta say, I like it like that. I definitely prefer it. It's easier for me. Um, so I'm just gonna dot that on. I've been really happy with my skin lately. So I don't necessarily need the f or want quite the coverage that my beloved and uh, extinct lingerie de Peau was giving me. And this doesn't. I'm using my hourglass foundation brush. Yeah, this doesn't give me quite the coverage. It's a little buildable. I used to love and live by the uh, Laura Mercier, what was that, silk cream foundation? Which now I think would be way too full coverage. This is very not full coverage. <laughs> and it's probably, it's a perfect match. I'd say color match wise, but mm, I don't know that it actually covered up anything. Come on, really? It looked so, it worked so well for me in the sample. It was really pretty. I don't know what's happening here. Let's put on a little more. Okay, that second layer was perfect. I'm still trying to learn how to work this foundation. What I really like um, about this foundation is it's definitely luminous, but it's not shiny. If you have oily skin though, I don't know if you're gonna love this, but I can still see my skin. Let me look in the mirror. Yeah, I can still see my freckles and you know the skin, but it just gives this nice, soft, almost soft focus to my face, which at my age, I appreciate. Um, anyway, I am going to put on my concealer powder, the stuff that just I normally put on, and then I'm gonna come back and show you some of the other stuff that I picked up. All right, this is technically not part of my Sephora haul. This I did not buy, everything else I did buy with my own money. Um, but this showed up on the doorstep the same time as my Sephora stuff did, and it's available at Sephora, so I thought I'd throw it in here. This is from the Estee Edit, and I just love the packaging, glitter, what can I say, okay. It's the Glow Face and Eye Palette. Look at this, right? Come on. And the uh, Gritty Eye Palette. So the Glow Face and Eye Palette, you open it. The cool thing is you can use them separately or they're magnetic, right? I know, okay. It's the little things that make me happy. Sometimes that's what you have to find in life. So it has this hunkin' huge mirror. It's cardboard, the packaging. And then it has 
the, this is face and eye palette. Now it, I gotta look this up, but it doesn't specifically say which one is face and which one is eye. And I think it doesn't really matter. Do what you want. But it seems like kind of obvious that, you know, the pinker tones are probably cheek type stuff. This definitely looks like it could be an eye highlighter or a cheek highlighter. And depending on your skin tone, any of these really could be bronzer type or highlighters. And that's kind of what I like that this caters to, it could go to a deeper skin tone or a fair skin tone, depending where you are. So I thought for kicks and giggles, I'm not gonna use any of the darker ones for bronzer. I don't necessarily want to shimmer today all over. There will be a lot of shimmer in this demo. But let's add a little highlight. So I'm gonna go with this really shiny one, which is called Snow Lit. And I am using another thing that got sent to me while Shane was in the hospital from Sigma. They sent me a strobing fan, which is really just a fan brush. And uh, I will say that when you touch this, it's almost, woo, can you see that? Wow. Uh, it's very, uh, almost feels like gel. And yeah, there's some shimmer there. Can you, hmm, very nice. I don't think it's quite, oh yes it is. I was gonna say, I don't think it's quite as highlighty as like the uh, Becca or even the Mary Luminizer. Yes, yes it is, it can be. But I think it's not as, it's definitely not as powdery. There's not the fallout like the other one. So it's, you can place this a little more precisely. Very interesting, very glittery. I just put a little bit on the end of my nose like Rudolph. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Sometimes the finger is just a little bit easier here. Just to give you an idea, um, let me swatch real quickly for you. I'll do the top two first. Look at that. Wow. So pretty. And then I'm gonna do the middle two next. very pink. Ooh. Ooh. So on the bottom here is the lighter one from the left. And then the top one is that darker pink on the right. I should have used this as my highlight. This is a little, I think more forgiving as a highlight, a little less icy, almost like a skin tone. And then these bottom two darker colors, let's try these. Wow, right? Don't know how these are gonna work, but these would be really pretty on the eye, I think, for me. So this one is that uh, one on the left, a little more, I'd say bronze. And this one's the more orangey one. Although, anyway, just a quick demo. I wasn't really planning on swatching, but that's so cool and not coming off my hand, okay. I am going to use as my blush that one there. It is a lot of shimmer and usually would not be probably what I do uh, all over, but why not? I need a little sparkle in my life this week. Okay, the pigment is not really there for a face blush. I'd say you need a denser brush to get the pigment that I would like. Oh, wait, it's coming up. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Maybe because these are so pigmented, it's not a bad idea to just build it up. So I take it back, I don't mind. It's obviously pigmented when you swatch it. You just need to build it up a little bit. And then I don't think I even showed this one. The gritty one is really pretty. Not my cup of tea as far as colors go, but oh my God, I mean, I who can't appreciate that? Look at these colors in the sunlight. Wow. I'll swatch these at some point. Not today though, guys. Let's get on with the fun stuff. So beautiful, but these are specifically for eyes. But you know, there are no rules. You can put them wherever you want. Alrighty, let's get to the eyes. I'm gonna prime with my usual, not from Sephora, very, very much not from Sephora. This is the Wet n Wild Primer found at most drugstores, grocery stores, and so forth. And I just throw that on. And I'm realizing I forgot my 
brow pencil. But do not fear, I have a plan. Because one of the things I did order in the Sephora haul is this Viseart, I think it's how you pronounce it. This Viseart neutral matte palette, and it says you can use these as brow powders as well. And I think this guy looks like a brow powder to me. So I will take an angled brush. I have no idea which kind this is. It doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I think it did say, oh, that's way too dark. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's try mm, this one here. It's very ashy. So we're gonna try that one. Very light handed. Much better, wow. These are very pigmented. I would not normally fill in my brows with this. I think if you're a brunette, you'd have a little more luck. All right, now that it's just us up close and personal, I bought three different eyeshadow things. The first thing I talked about in the vlog, I did pick up the NARS, um, what is this thing called? Dual intensity eyeshadow in, there it is, in Rigel. Regal, very shiny. I thought very shiny, it's very pretty, but then this caught my eye. Again, many of you recommended this from Natasha Denona. This is the eyeshadow palette number two. Look at this. I know this looks, not this side, this one looks a little frightening, but these, oh my gosh. Okay, when you touch these shadows, I've touched a couple of them. I couldn't help myself, I couldn't wait, sorry girls. When you touch them, they almost feel like they're just, I mean, I'm barely patting, I'm barely patting them and this is what comes off. It's just amazing. Are these all mostly shiny? Yeah, you know, I don't care. There's one matte, this one in the middle. And so to balance that off, I did pick up the, however you pronounce this, Viseart, which we have already uh, seen as incredibly pigmented. Reminds me a lot of the Sonia Kashuk matte palette in the way it looks, but the payoff is just, there's no comparison. And the price difference, woo! Anyway, okay, so we're gonna get past how much all these shadows cost, cause craziness. And let's start playing. So I'm really gonna focus just on this, and I'm not gonna do anything crazy, cause I do have to leave my house today, cause I haven't in a long time. And I'm just gonna do my standard, lay the matte, neutral matte down in the crease, and then do a little, you know, lighter, shimmery on the lid and a darker in the outer corner and then I'll use one of those light matte shades to blend up on the top and we're gonna get on with our life. Okay, so I'm going to use just a regular kind of fluffy crease brush, use this middle matte shade that is called Shell. Oh, wow, there is fallout when you hit this thing. Not a lot though. All right, here we go, looking in the mirror. Well, okay, blends like a dream. Good thing, cause this was not cheap. I mean, it wasn't ridiculous. Now the Natasha Denona like full size, like giant palettes, those were crazy expensive. But then I guess for the quality is so amazing that I guess you get what you pay for. Um, I just didn't feel like paying 200 and something dollars for one thing. I kind of wanted a sampling of things. So I'm gonna take this lightest shade and put that all over the lid. And if it's too light, I can throw colors on top. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Wow. Okay, I will say that the, um, the shimmer shades I'm not seeing any fallout. It was just the matte. Very interesting. Can you see that? I don't know if the lighting is ideal here, but this is really pretty. It's got, it's got, nice language, Marn. It has the metallic shimmer of a wet shadow, but this is not even remotely wet. I'm gonna bring this down into the tear duct as a highlight, inner corner highlight. 
And then I'm going to flip this over and take the second lightest shimmer shade right here and put that more on the um, outer half. Yeah, almost no fallout for that, um, for these shimmer shades. That's an interesting difference. This is so, this would make a really nice, just one shade all over the lid kind of look. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of shimmer. This, I know this is not for everyone. That's okay. It's making me happy. So, there you go. I was gonna do, I'm gonna blend a little bit with my big fat blendy brush. I was gonna do some more dark shimmer in the outer corner, but I think we're, we're getting a little, I'm, this is too much. So I'm gonna take, one of these guys, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna do this kind of warmer one right here. Yeah, okay, very little fallout on the Natasha, uh, on the Viseart. And very pigmented. Just kind of warm up and deepen that outer corner. We're gonna clean it up with, by using one of the skin tone shades and going back and forth, using it basically like an eraser. It's a little makeup magic there. Okay, I'm feeling like something's not quite right. And I think part of it is I don't have eyeliner or mascara on, but I feel like I need to anchor underneath the eye. I'm taking a, like a medium brown shade on a pencil brush and I'm just running that under the eye. Kind of anchors things a little bit. I'm going back with that angled brush I used, or an angled brush with a dark brown, and I'm gonna use that as my eyeliner and run that along the length, length, the, run that along my lash line. Sorry if I'm getting blurry. All right, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, put on mascara, and then we're gonna come back and talk about the lipstick I picked up. Forgetting that my eyebrows are way darker than they should be, everything's just a little off. I think this is really neat. I definitely wanna play with these looks some more with the eyeshadows and definitely do like palette looks specific to just one or the other palette. But uh, lipsticks, I picked up one of the new Clinique, what are these things even called? Um, I don't know. They are one of the new matte uh, lipsticks, but it's the matte lacquer, I think is what they're called. I will put the specific names in the description box, but it's similar to the lip, the lip lacquer glazes that I got, but they are, um, they go on like a liquid lipstick, but they dry somewhat matte. And this is in the shade Cake Pop, which I love. And I have worn this one and they are not drying at all. They are totally amazing. And isn't this a perfect, beautiful, easy, everyday color? I love it. We're going to ignore Wrigley right now and pretend like he's not banging on the door. And then this is new-ish, new to me, not relatively new from YSL. I'm blinking like this because my mascara is still wet. And this is, I threw the box out. This is, I think it's their velvet lip cream is what it's called from YSL. Like I said, I'll put the exact name in the description box. This is in the shade 404. I have no idea if I'm going to like this, but it looks good on the website. So let's give this one a go. I am a huge fan of their glossy lip stains. I don't know if this color is exactly what I had in mind. Let's give it a go. Oh no, it's not. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, it smells so good though. It's like, Citrusy off. Okay, this does not go with the lip look, with the eye look at all, but I was looking for like a wearable, kind of brighter nude. The key to these weird YSL liquid type lipsticks is you layer them. And what I like about them, even though they don't match with what I'm wearing, is that once they're on, they don't go anywhere for a while. So <laughs> this is the, I like this color. I just don't like it necessarily with the eyes that I, I would want something a little warmer and deeper. Like maybe even this would be fine. But see how when opaque in two coats 
and it smells, I can't describe the scent. I can't really smell it anymore, but when I first opened it up, it was almost like a fruity florally scent. I don't know, it doesn't smell that way anymore. I will swatch it, well, here, next to this one. This is a little deeper, warmer pink. This obviously has some orangey, corally undertones, but it's drying down to more of a, a neutral, I like it. Anyway, that was a totally random uh, Sephora friends and family haul. It goes on through October 29th. If you know someone at Sephora and you can get a code from them for 20% off, that's how it works. If you don't know anyone, fear not. Next month is the VIB sale. Another 20% off coming your way, I believe 15 or 20% off. When I get more information about that, I will let y'all know. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you for all your kind words. I will address that more in a separate video um, regarding Shane, but I wanted to thank you and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I'm gonna give another hair tutorial a go. This one's kind of special because as you know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the lovely people at GHD reached out to me 